Welcome, my name is Marcin Lewandowski and you're watching the viewfinder on Adorama TV. In this episode, I'll share with you some of my thoughts and ideas on using telephoto lenses for creating landscape and cityscape photographs. Landscape photography is usually associated with using wide-angle lenses to capture as much detail as possible. And this is often used to build a strong relationship between the feature in the foreground that gets magnified and a space in the background. Wide-angle lens can be very effective. In this episode, however, I will demonstrate an alternative approach doing the opposite of that using a telephoto lens, where we will focus the viewer's attention on the objects in the background instead. Seeing the world through the telephoto lens is quite an extraordinary experience for photographers. Objects start to behave in a quite a different way that we are used to seeing through normal and wide-angle lenses. The main characteristic of a telephoto lens is a distortion that we call compression. Compression works in the opposite way to a wide-angle lens. It makes objects in the foreground appear smaller, however objects far away in the background appear much larger. This capability opens the floodgates of creative opportunities. One of the things we might want to have bigger on our photographs are any clearly visible celestial objects like the moon and the sun. A telephoto lens is the answer to this. 400 mm makes a large difference in the perspective shift, but even with a 200 mm or a little bit less, you will notice that the moon starts to look much bigger in comparison to the other features on the photograph. I would love to play with focal lens of over 400, and if only my DSLR had Nikon P900 range, just imagine using it at the right place and the right time. Another obvious way to use telephoto lenses in landscape is shortening a distance. We can, for example, shoot over a body of water or a valley, showing a perspective that would be impossible with a wide angle or a standard lens. We are not only shortening the distance, but in the case of a valley, we can flatten the opposite side, layering nicely everything from the foreground to the background and pulling the most distant layer to become the important anchor point. I strongly encourage you to take your longest lens, set it on the max focal length and go out for an afternoon or a morning of photography. If you've never tried this before, I think you'll be surprised how different the world will look. With this approach, you will add another useful technique to your ever-growing collection of photographing skills. Thanks for watching this episode. Subscribe to our channel for more and check out the Drama Learning Center for some helpful tips and tutorials. This was Marcin Lewandowski for Drama TV. See you next time.